concatenation of matrices I can say that it's creation of a new matrix from uh, two or more than two matrices okay uh, I, I, let me show you on MATLAB uh, let's suppose I have matrix A equals to uh, 1 2 3 4 and B equals to 5 6 7 8 uh, now what I want I just want a uh, matrix C which will be a combination of matrix A and B I want that uh, these two A and B should be in a same row so what I will do I will simply uh, C equals to A comma B so it will be like this and what if I want A and B uh, like if I want A and B up and down so what I will do uh, D equals to A semicolon as you know semicolon is used for uh, column so it will be like this so in the first row it will be A and the second row will be of B okay so this is called the concatenation uh, there are this is a built-in function of concatenation but I'm not gonna use it in today's lecture uh, we'll just discuss the simplest things we'll discuss the other things in uh, later lectures but not today and I know today uh, I'm too bit slow uh, but I think it's good for persons who are using MATLAB for the first time So it's the concatenation of matrices. Now how to take input from the user. Uh, there comes many cases in which uh, we want uh, an input from the user. And we can take input by simply writing the MATLAB built-in command which is, which is input. Okay, like I just write a equals to input write your favorite number sorry write your favorite so by default uh, the number will be the number taken from the user will be a, an integer and it will be saved in variable a and now I'm a user right here for, I just put I just enter for 56 and that 56 is saved here in a okay similarly I can uh, I can ask any user to input uh, any string b equals input enter your company name and I have to specify that the user uh, the input from the user must be string so I will write s for string okay now enter I am a user I, I can enter any name I just write experts vision and you can see uh, that experts vision is being saved in B okay so this is how we can uh, take input from any user now uh, the, uh, these are different operators addition subtraction multiplication uh, division power complex conjugate transpose etc and then element by element multiplication element by element division element by element power so uh, this is a matrix A okay uh, let me write 
these commands on MATLAB for a better idea. Let's suppose A is a vector of 1, 2, 3 and B is another vector, row vector 2, 3, 4. Now if I simply multiply these two, let's see what happens. A static B it will give me nothing because in MATLAB we can't use this command. And what if I use c equals to a dot b? I can't do simply. I can't simply. I can't write a dot b because for now I'm dealing with scalar multiplication, and for scalar multiplication, and the number of rows of one a matrix or a whatever vector should be equal to the number of columns of others so in this case what I want to apply I want to do point to point multiplication so I will do I will write a, a c equals to a dot multiply b then it will give me 1 cross 2 2 2 cross 3 6 3 cross 4 12 similar for point to point multiplication the number of elements should be same and number of rows in one matrix should be equal to the number of uh, rows and columns in second okay like all the rows and columns in both all the number of rows and columns in both matrix should be same a equals to r and Okay, it will be square matrix of 2 b equals to square matrix of 3 now let's see what happens will they multiply or no so I want c equals to a dot cross r or okay so uh, let's do a division in this case so you'll also get better get idea of division so we can't do because the number of rows and columns in both matrix are not same so the B should be of same order okay now C equals to A divided by B so don't never miss this dot okay now it will give you an answer uh, there are some other options that we can make A equals to B by adding zeros or uh, adding ones okay you can do a lot of things by mat different matrix operations it's up to you whatever you want Similarly, you can add any two matrices, any two matrices like A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, B equals to 3, 4, 5, 6, C equals to A plus B. So for addition or subtraction, the number of elements or number of rows or columns should be exactly same. Okay. Uh, similarly, we can take power C. I just write C square equals to C. So it will give me square of matrix C. Uh, 
these are different things not equal strictly small I think you already know all these things and I have told you and that how to display outputs and how to just create outputs 